What's going on everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy the Drainerd here. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a much requested uh settings, updated settings video. And uh just the settings that I run in Modern Warfare. And just keep in mind that when I'm going through this, that I have a 4080 and a 5900X. So pretty much a, a really beefy PC with a uh, CL14 uh, RAM, 16 gigabytes. I, I might upgrade to 32, um, but right now I really don't see the point. Um, but yeah, just know I'm also at 1440p, and uh, this is pretty much like a, a really decent rig that I'm not gonna upgrade for a very long time. Uh, maybe update the CPU, but that's it. Um, so this is what I am running. Um, keep in mind also I play at 1440p. Um, I have VSync off. I have the VSync menus off. I have my custom uh, frame rate limit on 300. And then the menu frame rate is on 120 because when you go into the gun range, um, I noticed that if you're locked at 60, it doesn't feel that good. So that's why this is at 120. Um, and these are just pretty much everything that I run right now. Um, uh, I run Fidelity Cast for the sharpening, and then I have that set to 70. I was on 100, but uh, 70 was good for uh, my monitor. Um, keep in mind, like I said, I'm playing at 1440p. Anti-aliasing, I have low. You can't turn this off, and they force anti-aliasing um, on here for some reason, which is really stupid. I want that to be turned off, but I can't. Uh, my texture quality, I go back and forth between normal and low. Uh, I just have it on normal right now because uh, I like how my guns look. You know, I got the max camo, so, you know, why not? I have iron, so I wanted it to look pretty for myself, but pretty much everything on here is low. Uh, I have bullet sprays and impacts on just because I want to see like, where I'm getting shot from and where the bullets are coming from. Um, tessellation, I have on near. Uh, I can play with this on off, but you know, just making the game look prettier. Um, if you want more FPS, be sure to turn this off. Uh, terrain memory is a medium. Um, and then on demand texture streaming, you definitely want this off a hundred percent dude to keep this off streaming quality normal um and if, like i said if you want more frames if you have a lower graphics card you definitely want to turn this to low um and then i have water physics on because when i was playing ashika island uh a lot of the zones ended in the water and if you have this on you can see it a lot better um and then everything else is pretty much low besides spot cash and then uh, NVIDIA Reflex is on plus boost, and that's pretty much it. Um, my view, I have everything pretty much uh, default. Uh, I play with affected, um, and then if you play with independent, basically when you ADS, it zooms into the normal uh, uh, field of view, and then 50, 50, the least, make sure you turn this uh, to the least uh, game perspective. And then, um, yeah, so that's all that right there. Nothing like too special. Um, and I'm going to go into my keyboard and mouse settings because a lot of people want to know about that. Um, I have mouse input on your know, aiming input devices on mouse. My sensitivity is four at 800 DPI. I do go back and forth between raw Excel and uh, just, uh, or I guess you could say raw mouse Excel and then raw mouse input i go back and forth depending on how i'm feeling the day my aim really doesn't change um i've been on raw at the moment and then um ads sensitivity multiplier is on one my ads sensitivity is relative and my monitor coefficient is 1.78 because just because i just didn't have time to go around and test like if i should keep this on legacy black ops or black op or legacy mw or legacy black ops i just keep it on relative just because i'm lazy and i pretty much don't have a problem aiming i pretty much gotten used to it in this game um for my gameplay crouch behavior is toggle prone behavior is toggle and tactical sprint behavior is toggle i have automatic tactic sprint off and something that's really cool in uh this game is that if you have like say I press shift to sprint and I can just press shift to hold my uh, breath when I'm sniping. I couldn't do that in MW 2019, but you could do that in here. Um, and downside behavior is on hold. Uh, if you're a new player, I recommend toggle because, so you can like get used to uh, aiming with your mouse. You, you don't have to like hold down uh, your right mouse button. Uh, some people play toggle, some people play hold. I, I, this is just all personal preference. Um, my interact and behavior, everything um, is on hold. 
uh, weapon mount is double tap ADS because that's just what I like to use to when I mount. Uh, armor plates apply all. And go into the advanced combat settings here. I have weapon uh, wraparound is on here. And basically what this allows you to do is I press three to switch my weapons. And uh, I don't like pressing one, two, or three. I just want to press one button. And what this basically does is it allows me to have one button. If I want my uh, assault rifle, I, I have my assault rifle. If I want to switch my pistol, all I have to do is press three. That's all that is. Weapon mount movement on exit. Yes, because every time I move, I don't want to like stay mounted um sprint uh pauses reload i have this on i might turn this off actually uh because uh, it's just really annoying uh to sometimes when you can't like reload cancel right uh but i have this on for now uh kill streaks are in numerical order and that's pretty much it um friendly fire uh, manual fire behavior is just press and c4 quick detonation um I, this is actually should be on. I don't know why that's off. Okay. And, um, this is pretty much all the settings right here. These are my key binds. Now keep in mind, key binds are personal preference and it should be on what you think and what is best for you. But there are some overall, uh, general guidelines that you should follow. And basically all that is, is whatever keys that are easy to press for you um you should press so like for me to go prone c really easy to press i don't really like ever using control for anything right my crouch and slide is my caps lock because it's right there and nobody really uses caps lock for anything right so i just use caps lock because like i said again it's right there some people have other interact on f i like it on e because you know i'm a old school gamer and uh e is just what i was used to over my years of gaming uh I, it's always been e right everything has been e i don't know when f was introduced to uh interact i don't like it i actually use f to throw my grenades because i just don't like pressing g um my lethal equipment uh like i said is f to throw my grenades my tactical equipment is a q uh my weapon mount i have this unbound but if i needed to weapon mount is z my uh melee button is middle mouse button and then to put on uh, my armor plates, I actually scroll wheel down. That just for me, that's what I use. And then for my pinging enemies, I have that on my uh, mouse button. Um, that's pretty much everything that's like super important. But if you guys are wondering, this is pretty much everything. Oh, and alt is a uh, push to talk. So uh, that's pretty much all my settings, guys, right now. Uh, like I said, these are just personal preference, pretty much. I have a pretty beastly rig, so I really don't have a problem with uh, FPS or anything like that. But yeah, those are the updated settings, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on the video. And don't forget, I am giving away my 3070. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to uh, enter into that or stay tuned for that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, you know, comment, like the videos, and we are on the road to 30K. Uh, thank you guys so much for 15K, by the way. But as always, guys, remember to stay blessed and stay humble, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.